Hello. Welcome to my studio. As you can see, I have uh, what I call an organized mess. I use um, styrofoam tins from meat trays. I guess they're not tin. And uh, my paint. I use spray paint. I use acrylics. I use all kinds of stuff. Pretty much mixed media. Whatever I feel like using. Um, my name is Sasori Kokuji. And if you're interested, I'll, I'll translate that for you if you, if you want. Um, hit me up and I'll, I'll let you know what it means. Or you can figure it out for yourself. I am an artist. I have been an artist my whole life. Um, on some level or another, I have made a living as an artist for decades. And I've done all kinds of art. It is who I am. It is always going to be who I am. And under many names, I have done art. And I am now a different being. I have decided on a lot of levels to stop doing a lot of things that I have been doing in the art world. Trying to please other people for so many years. I just sort of became a machine and just sort of painted and it became just a joyless execution of work and certainly it was about, you know, trying to do the best that I could artistically and, and certainly trying to show the mastery that I had over whatever it was that I was doing, you know, and it, it fed my ego to the stratospheres, you know, I, I thought of myself as being God with a brush, you know, I don't know what artist doesn't, but as it has, you know, kind of gone over the years, I have grown increasingly frustrated with the art world and trying to paint for money, you know, trying to sell art to make a living. Um, it's, it's interesting, you know, it, when I was younger and selling art, it wasn't as difficult, you know, people, you know, bought art, you know, people liked art, you know, and people had money. Nowadays, it isn't that people don't like art, but people really don't have money these days, you know, and the people that do have money, you know, they're not in, investing in art, you know what I mean, unless it's, you know, the big boys, you know, from the big houses and, you know, all of that, that whole world is riddled with gatekeepers leaving, you know, the masses to basically paint for their Facebook friends and Instagram followers, you know, trying to make sales, doing TikTok commercials and everything. And, you know, for me, it just became overwhelming, you know, I felt that I was an artist and not necessarily a content creator where I had to make videos so that I could put something and post something so that, you know, I can get likes, you know, it just all became overwhelming and frustrating and I decided to sort of stop and breathe and focus on myself and my own happiness, stop trying to, you know, do commissions, stop trying to paint for other people and make other people happy because it wasn't making me happy. You know, I was trying to look at all kinds of videos on TikTok to see who's painting what, what's selling, what isn't selling, who's selling their work, who isn't selling their work, what they're painting, how they're painting, why they're painting, all these different things, trying to find the answer, you know, and I just stopped, and I became present in the moment, and I, I just started to you know, see what was now, what now was all about, and, and I realized that, you know, I had to paint for me, you know, I had to find that place where when I was a kid, art was therapy, you know, and I lost that, and, you know, my wife, she's a wonderful artist, and that's what she does, she paints for therapeutic reasons, and, you know, she paints to get it out, and I, I felt like, you know, that's what I wanted to do, I wish that I could be her. 
and I just I just decided to stop, you know, chasing and give up on trying to be something in a world where a million other artists are trying to be that, you know, and just paint what was going to make me happy and not paint it with any inclinations of trying to sell it and flip it and, and make a buck because, you know, it, there's just so much other stuff involved in that besides just stop and breathe and paint and make myself happy. So I decided to paint the poetic tranquility of Koi. Thank you. Enjoy.